Welcome back, everyone. This is your Blue Devil News. I'm Luke. And I'm Zach. Let's get into the news. Students, please remember, the bank is only open during lunch. You can pay with cash or check at the bank for things like prom, senior fee, Lebanon t-shirts, senior yard signs, and parking passes. This Thursday is the deadline to get prom tickets for $40, and after this week, it'll be $50. Also, if you're bringing someone to prom who does not attend LHS, you must complete the appropriate paperwork that is available outside of the bank. Seniors, this year LHS is providing every graduating senior with a yard sign for free to display at their houses to communicate our pride in their accomplishments. However, if you would like to get a personalized sign or would like to have an extra sign, the cost is $15 each. The deadline to purchase these signs is Thursday, April 1st. Graduation will be held here on the football field on May 22nd at 10 a.m. and each senior is allotted eight tickets. As long as we are able to maintain a traditional school schedule, we plan to have one ceremony for the entire class to graduate together. Also, if you have not paid the $75 graduation fee, please do so immediately. The National Honor Society graduation cords are $12, and they're due this Thursday. You may pay Ms. Carella and Ms. Futrell. The class of 2021 4.0 GPA, top 10%, and 30 and above ACT group photos will take place on the bleachers in the gym this Thursday at around 9.45. Be sure to wear a black shirt. We have a lot of winning going on in this spring. Congratulations to softball, baseball, soccer, tennis, and our LHS chefs. They are all recent winners and rolled over on their opponents. A few weeks ago, the LHS chefs competed in the 13th annual pasta competition. Congratulations to Adam Good for taking home second place in the dried pasta category and receiving a $6,000 scholarship. Congratulations to Chloe Moles for taking home first place in the dried pasta category and a $10,000 scholarship. It did not stop there. We have a big congratulations to Eli Klappish who earned first place in the fresh pasta category and earned a $10,000 scholarship. Yesterday, softball beat Cookville 8 2 thanks to Casey Fox's four RBIs, Carly Wright's excellent pitching, and great teamwork. Tennis girls won 6 1 and boys won 7 0 against Macon County yesterday in first home match. Our soccer team beat down White County and had them screaming for mercy. Ethan Mills had four goals with assists from others, Sean Redmond had three goals with one assist from Ethan Mills, and another goal came assisted by Levi from a corner kick. Noah McGee had final goal unassisted to the end game 9-0 by Mercy Roll with 17.40 on the clock. Their next game is tomorrow at 5.30 at Glen Cliff and have a home game this Friday at 6 against DeCullop County. According to GameChanger.com, our varsity baseball team won their game in a dramatic walk-off fashion thanks to a walk-off triple at the end of the game to topple rivals Wilson Central with a score of 4-3. The game was tied at 3 with LHS batting in the bottom of the ninth when Ty Bailey tripled on a 1-2 count, scoring one run. Our next game is 5 o'clock today at Portland. Congratulations to varsity baseball players Ty Bailey and Carson Bowles for signing baseball scholarships. Both four-year veterans, Ty, played third base and signed with Chattanooga State, and Carson decided to or Lincoln Memorial University, a NCAA Division II program. Anyone interested in trying out for next year's guard team, tryouts will be every Thursday starting April 1st located in the band room. No experience is needed, and please wear clothes that you can move in and tennis shoes. You can speak to Mr. Chanel or Mr. Amos for any questions. The theater department will be performing one acts on April 10th at 5. All the short plays are written, directed, and produced by seniors for their Theater 4 project. This is a completely free event. This week is National Drug Week, and BDN will be presenting facts each day along with Officers McPeak and Burton.
What is addiction? So I will say for me, when I was 14 years old, I had no idea what addiction was. I had never heard of the word until unfortunately I had a family friend pass away from a heroin overdose. And then the word addiction started coming up. Addiction, heroin addiction. Addiction is a brain disease that results from repeated use of a substance. This causes changes in the reward circuitry of the brain and makes the inhibitory circuitry of the prefrontal cortex less strong. This leads to compulsive use of a drug despite the negative impact that that compulsive drug use has on a person's life. So it's using a substance despite having negative consequences. So it's not having control of how much you drink or how much drug you use. Addiction can feel very scary, especially if someone in your family has an addiction and it can feel like life is out of control. But it's important to keep in mind that addiction science is working so hard on breakthroughs to try to improve people's lives and to improve prevention of drug use and addiction, to pr- improve treatment that is given for addiction, and to help people stay in recovery after they achieve it. For more information, check out teens.drugabuse.gov. If you need help or would like more information, please see anyone here at LHS and go to teens.drugabuse.gov. This week is also National Down Syndrome Week. Down syndrome is a condition in which a person has an extra chromosome. Chromosomes are small packages of genes in the body. Typically, a baby is born with 46 chromosomes. Babies with Down syndrome have an extra copy of these chromosomes, chromosome 21. Without further ado, let's celebrate these amazing individuals.
Beta Club seniors need to bring $15 for cores for graduation to Miss C's room by tomorrow morning. Yearbooks are still on sale for $90. Pre-orders have ended, so we are currently selling remaining stock and do not anticipate having extras. We're, we sold out last year and we expect to do it again this year. Orders can be placed using school cash or yearbookforever.com. You must have a parking pass to park on campus. If you do not have one, there are applications outside of the bank and you may purchase a pass during lunch. If you have lost your pass, replacement passes are $5 and are also available in the bank during lunch. Please make sure your tag is properly displayed and visible and make sure you are in the correct spot that, co that coordinates with your tag. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Zach. And I'm Blue. And, and this, this has been, been news to you, the white blue. blue.